hello guys myself Mayang and I'm back with another video in this video we're going to do the third question uh, in the Python interview question series so this was a com comparatively very easy uh, question and it was asked in the first round of uh, service based company and uh, let's go with the problem we'll t I'll tell you the problem then solution maybe then we'll test with some test cases huh? okay so this is a very uh, uh, easy problem like we need to find the second largest number in the list but with python way uh, you know sql way it is quite forward like we can do with a simple query but in python or any other language how to find it very straightforward we can uh, do multiple ways uh, let's see so maybe i'll create a function maybe call it find uh, second largest number and then i'll give some called input maybe list right and then some return statement and uh, the list of it maybe call it numbers i'll give some list five to six comma seven okay and then i'll just call this function call second okay oops the spelling i'll just correct it second largest number and pass the numbers okay so this is the body skeletal and uh, so okay so what logic we can use it right maybe i'll define an, uh, minus infinity as a largest number and then we'll iterate through the list of input and we'll check okay if uh, one is greater than minus infinity and four is greater than one then five is greater than four and like that right we'll keep comparing every element of this list with that largest number and we'll also create the second largest number and we'll compare that so what i'm telling is maybe the largest is equal to second largest okay is equal to some infinity minus infinity sorry <clears throat> okay then what i have to do i have to iterate uh, through this list from num in numbers and if a uh, number is greater than largest then i'll say the second largest number becomes the uh, largest one and the largest become the number and then i return the second largest number okay let's run till the here so it gives six right so if we test it with the other element also if i make it eight it will it should give seven oh it is giving five okay why it is giving five one four five okay okay because the element is smaller than the this element okay so how we can handle this is right uh, we have to write elif number is greater than second largest and number is not equal to largest then we, uh, we make it uh, we make second largest is equal to number I think it should give it give it correct now yeah seven so what was happening like uh, earlier uh, because eight was uh, greater than this seven right and it was happening earlier so that's why it was not going into this list like the seven was not going into list because already the eight becomes the largest number and in this loop we're checking if number is greater than largest so it is not going into this loop right so we need to check if number is greater than second largest which was five in this case right and number is not equal to the largest so it is greater than 5 but not equal to the largest that is 7 then it goes into this loop and then this uh, it will cover this scenario so yeah i guess now if we test it uh, make it something else 9 or something it should give us 8 right so that is correct maybe i'll make it 12 then it should give us 9 yeah so this is it one condition is right uh, i guess if we give only 
one number obviously it will not or maybe two numbers right it will uh, give us the correct result maybe if I make it 100 this is correct but one condition is right if I give only the one number maybe uh, it will give us the minus infinity so what we can do to handle this right if uh, second largest number is equal to um, minus infinity right uh, if it is equal to minus infinity then I'll say uh, maybe return no second largest number something like that some print some message huh? no second largest number else just make it return now if I print this it give me no second largest number Okay, yeah, so this is it for this video. Maybe I'll see you in the next video. Let me know the uh, more questions which you have uh, got in interviews, right? So this is one of the questions I've got for like Python for data engineering interview, right? Quite simple one for very easy service based question, right? But we'll try to cover more questions maybe uh, from different range, SQL, Python, Databricks, Spark in future videos. Okay, see you in the next video. Bye-bye.